All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we are going to be in the 154 pound division and 140 pound division where we've got some very, very childish drama going on in the sport of boxing as reports emerge of Devin Haney being pimp slapped and and having his sno shoes snatched from him by Erickson Lubin. <laughs> Man, you need to be careful when you start this type of stuff. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Fanon. Please excuse my hoarse voice. My son had a basketball game and they beat a big time school. He played very well. So I was screaming and yelling and I woke up and I lost my voice. But you know what it is. We gonna keep it pushing. Um, this one is a special request for somebody asked me to make a video and comment on the fact that it has been reported that Devin Haney had an altercation with Erickson Lubin <clears throat> and uh, got checked by, by Erickson Lubin at an Olympic training center. Man, and this comes from um, Wally Moses, the trainer of Shakur Stevenson. It is co-signed in tweets by Kevin Cunningham, a trainer for Adrian Broner. And people are making a lot of jokes about it and cracking up about it. But before I get into the details of it, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you are a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much for your continued support. It really means a lot. Um, and thank you to anybody that sponsors a video. Hey, man, that's the only way we're able to keep the channel going. Thank you for the super chats and the super thanks. And as you see, we got to work all the way through sore throats, sicknesses, all of those type of things. And we're going to keep it pushing forward. Man, let me tell you, <clears throat> several years ago, when Devin Haney started telling uh, sparring stories, or even before that, where people started um, talking about Errol Spence Jr. and his sparring session he had with Floyd Mayweather Jr., I thought all of this stuff was just bad juju, <laughs> right? Like, we're talking about a boxing match and what people can do in a boxing match, not what happens behind, you know, in altercations between fighters. Right. But you know what it is. Don't start none. Won't be none. And uh, Devin Haney and Devin Haney's camp is probably the number one participator in releasing sparring footage, telling, talking about what people say behind the scenes and pretty much making anything and everything that happens, fair game to be put in front of the public eye. So <clears throat> shout out to Mill City Boxing, one of the best channels on YouTube. Love the work that Mill City Boxing does. Interviewed Wally Moses and Wally Moses uh, was talking about Devin Haney going to 140. And he said, look, man, Devin Haney is not going to be at 147 pounds. Uh, uh, very long, but he better not move up because he'll run into to the hammer and get slapped again by the hammer. Now, anybody that knows alias in boxing knows that that the hammer is Eric is Erickson Lubin. Erickson Lubin is a southpaw out of the state of Florida. I do believe he's Haitian I, of Haitian descent. I could be wrong, but I think he's of Haitian descent. Uh, similar to Chris Colbert. But Erickson Lubin uh, has challenged for a world title against Jamal Charlo and got knocked out. Um, 
He he. I think he's only lost two fights, but he's just coming off of a very big win against uh, Brian Mendoza. Then some people think he lost. I personally think he won the fight. Fought very very well and got the. Uh, um, actually, no, 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 not Mendoza. He beat. Uh, I think Jesus Ramos. Jesus. Uh, I stand corrected. Jesus Ramos, um, up and coming prospect, big one hundred fifty four pounder. Well, Wally Moses said that Devin Haney was at the Olympic Training Center and got slapped in the mouth by Erickson Lubin. And then Erickson Lubin took his shoes. So and he said, look, man, how you don't want any get back against that guy that did that to you. Now, all that is funny, you know, ha ha funny. Uh, it's kind of like the same thing that happened where. um Jamal Charlo got got slapped by um, by Caleb Plant, and now people are saying that two of these guys got to fight. I'm all in favor of it, quite honestly. <clears throat> but let me share let me share a story with you because I I don't really put a lot into that. Uh, do I believe it's true? It's probably true. That seems kind of funny just for uh, uh, Shakur Stevenson's trainer just to make that up. And then to have um, um, Kevin Cunningham, who also has a beef with the Haney camp right now, <laughs> without a doubt, because of what they did and what they said about Adrian Bronner, for him to co-sign it by retweeting it on multiple occasions. I think that these guys probably know that, probably know that to be the case. At least that's my feeling of it, right? Could be that they're lying. Devin Haney responded and said uh, that, you know, that you're as fake, that um, that's as fake as those chains that you got around your neck. Um, and he was talking about the weight, the, 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 all the jewelry that uh, Wally Moses had around his neck. Man, that gold didn't look fake to me. <laughs> OK, so I don't know. That looked like real gold to me, man. People have been wearing the man is probably 70 years old, I would suspect. Looks like he's about 70 years old, late, mid 60s, mid 60s, all the way up to 70. Uh, man, let me tell you something, man. He could have been buying two gold chains a year for the last uh, for the last 20 years and got those chains. So I believe those chains are chains are real. So maybe maybe the story is true, too. But here's the thing. There's a story about a really great fighter by the name of Sam Langford. Um, fought in middleweight all the way up to heavyweight in the early uh, 20th century. A contemporary of Jack Johnson, contemporary of Jack Dempsey, Jess Willard, Joe Gans, right? And many people say that he was the greatest fighter out of all of them. And many people say he's the greatest fighter of all time. He was on a boat one time traveling overseas for a fight. And because they didn't have airplane, well, they had airplanes, but, you know, airplanes were not you know, the normal course of travel for people, people would take ocean liners from from America to Europe. So there was a boat. He was on a boat, an ocean liner on the way to uh, Europe for a fight. And the guy who was an Irishman was on a boat with him going there to the fight. And he walked up on him and he said basically says square up. So he squared up with Sam Langford and he said, yeah, you don't look so tough. And basically disrespected uh, Sam Lankford to his face. And Sankford, like, Sam Lankford said, I'm not tough on boats. Right. <laughs> Told him I'm not tough on boats. So they go to the fight. Sam Lankford knocks him out in the first 20 seconds. And there you go. That's the that's what all of this. I'm tough outside the ring stuff will get you when they're really there. They're fighting in the ring. So, you know, it is what it is, man. Um, I really wish. But I know I'm never going to get my wish that this type of stuff, that people would be a little bit more mature about stuff like this. But, you know, it's not going to happen. Matter of fact, I do believe I saw um, Muhammad Ali get slapped in the face by by Sonny Liston. Right. In in a press conference, he slapped him in the face and Ali was like, oh, he didn't slap him. He didn't slap him back or anything like that. But he sure slapped him back a lot in the ring. So, hey, man, the size that Devin Haney is, though, he very well may wind up being at 154 pounds with Erickson Lubin. Who knows? But anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. 
And with that, I'm out. Peace. 